Wait, is someone else here? <laughs> why are these two here? Oh my gosh, guy! Why did you invite Josh and Gray? Oh no! <laughs>and welcome back to the not so buried challenge it's a challenge in the sims 4 where you have one family for 10 generations and each generation is themed after a different color currently we're on the rose generation which is the romantic political one last episode was full of romance but for now we're going to continue on where we are Everybody, I am so excited to start the video, but before I do that, I have a very, very super exciting announcement. I officially have my very own merch line. We are bringing back your guys' favorite phrase, the I'm fine, it's fine, we're fine collection. I'm obsessed with that phrase. I know you guys love that merch when I was at BuzzFeed, so I wanted to bring it back, but this time it's all Kelsey, baby. Same panic, new vibes. I wanna give you a little look-see at the one that is the not so berry kind of special shirt. There's a lot of items in this drop that they all have the same saying on them, but this is kind of a special shirt because it is mint color for the Not So Berry Challenge. It's fine, I'm fine, we're fine. It is in the mint for the mint generation. It's like a little remembrance. This shirt also comes in purple. We have notebooks, we have mouse pads, which is super cool. If you have a mouse and you've been needed a mouse pad. Mugs, we got sweatshirts and hoodies, and I'm super, super in love with all of these products. Products. You guys can go shop them below actually on this channel. You can also go to shop Kelsey Dangerous if you want to check them out. I'm just so excited. This is my very first like merch launch outside of BuzzFeed. So if you want to go check those out, I really appreciate it. I'm so, so excited to share all this with you guys. It's also kind of a summer collection. This shirt comes in mint and purple and the rest of the merch kind of comes in either black, white, or purple. If you grab some merch and end up taking photos in it, please tag me. I want to see all of you guys rocking the new merch. I can't believe it's finally here. I've been working on this for a little while now, but we're here, we did it. I hope you guys love it. The shirts are so soft. I've been literally seriously living in all the sweatshirts. I know I'm a little biased, but I'm obsessed and I hope that you guys like them too. Go check those out, strapkelseydangerous.com. Okay, I'll get back to the video. Okay, go just go watch the video, bye. So we're back with Poppy Berry. She's absolutely zonked from, I believe her late night date. And so we need to get her straight to sleep for school tomorrow which is good because it's 8.30. Oh my gosh, she's like actually going to bed at a proper time. I'm very proud of me. Uh, oh my goodness. Jade can now play a rhythmic game on a computer because she's mental level two. Good job, Jade. Oh, I'm so proud of her. Forest Barry is looking great. He's a little hungry, but honestly, guys, I think you all should be going to bed. It's 8.30. You know, we got school tomorrow. Even Raphael, I think, could maybe go to bed. Well, Mint might not go to bed. She's gonna feed the baby first. Oh, look at Jay. Jay's so cute. Wait, her hair goes on and off. Okay, I might have to fix that at some point. Poppy is going through a phase. She's getting very rebellious and will seek to challenge parental authority. Oh no. Oh, Poppy. Okay, honestly, Poppy, you should go to bed though. Glad you woke up to think, yeah, I want to stick it to my parents. Wait, what? Oh no. There's a scary monster under the bed and they both are scared. Jade is like, what is this human nonsense? Mom's up, she's gonna go help. What's she gonna do? She's gonna go clean the sink, mom. Why don't you spray under the bed for the kids, okay? She's like, well, while I'm up, I might as well clean. Poppy's feeling very flirty. Good for you, Pop. Have those flirty dreams of your boyfriend who we need to break up with. I don't know why we'll break up with him. He hasn't done anything like wrong per se. I don't know. Mint, why don't you go to sleep? And Raphael, go to sleep. And everyone went to sleep, except for everyone's waking up for rebate day. Oh, how exciting. Wow, rebate day. Yes, is it's almost Hunter's birthday. Is it tomorrow? Oh, finally. I'm so happy. And then Saturday is Poppy's birthday? No. <gasps> Wow, Poppy's gonna be not a teen anymore on Saturday. That'll be like next video, maybe. She might be not a teen or the one after, I don't know. Oh my gosh, she's already one of four. Ooh, we need to get the charisma skill up. Ooh, maybe that's what we'll do when she wakes up, okay? Why don't you practice your speech, get your charismas going. Jade is off to school, Jade's there first. Poppy, get it together, okay? We need you to go to school, goodbye. 
musical volunteering. Forrest is sitting with his class in assembly when the music teacher asks for a volunteer. The teacher is looking right at him. Forrest can see how excited the kid next to him is. I feel like Forrest is a sweet little bean and he would send the other kid. Forrest nudges his neighbor with an elbow and the kid makes his way to the stage. The poor kid is given symbols and asked to improvise. What follows is a noisy, embarrassing mess that will stay with the boy for years. Yikes. Well, you know, he wanted to do it. That's not Forrest's fault. Ooh, Jade has returned home with a school project. Forrest has two, and so does Poppy. Poppy's grades are up. She's now an A student. I knew she could do it. Perfect, and so is Forrest. Wow, good job, Forrest. Poor Poppy is super duper tense, not having any fun. So I am going to have her get out her yoga mat, maybe put it outside for today and do a little yoga routine. All right, Poppy. Since you're feeling flirty, you're already feeling a little better. Maybe I'll just add Jade to having her hair on her other outfits so that she's not always bald. I don't need her to be bald all the time. Nice. She's gonna go watch comedy, maybe calm down a little bit. And then I feel like she needs to just break up with her boyfriend, but I don't know why she would break up with her boyfriend. Unless maybe she met someone new. Then I think maybe we take a brisk shower. And then I think maybe we could invite the student council over, have like a study session or something. She could maybe see if anyone else catches her eye. Aliyah, I think Aliyah flirted with her too. So maybe that might be good too. Her club is all coming over. Here they all are. Oh my gosh, look who immediately came by, but Guy Scott to chat with her. Banter with her BFF. Interesting that Guy already is like vibing her out. Where is her boyfriend, by the way? Oh, he's inside, hanging out with Laya. Our parents are home. Their daughter has invited her whole class over essentially, but it's fine. <laughs> Need to figure out why Gray and her would break up. Maybe like brag about your grades to him. I don't know. I want to see what what would naturally happen. Oh, they're so cute though. Oh, but I want some drama. Poppy is doing push-ups. All right, I'm not gonna stop you. I mean, Ray is going into our parents' room to get on the laptop. This is just very chaotic. Elias showing her like a fun video. Oh my gosh, Paka is an elder. Repeat, Paka is an elder. This is so weird. Remember when we tried to become best? Besties? Oh, Cannot believe Paka oh, is an oh, elder. That is so crazy. They're all just not having issues with each other and I need there to be more drama. Who is coming over? Why is everyone coming over to this house? Oh my God, it's just Eliza pancakes. Eliza's coming over. This is like a crazy house party. Look how many flipping people. Oh, but Josh seems to be really trying to impress our poppy here. Running in place. Maybe Josh should be our next kiss. And I'm gonna actually have them try to all do their homework together because I think that would be cute if they all start doing their homeworks together. I think what I'm gonna do is I think that Poppy might just break up with Gray. And here's my reasoning, okay? I feel like after today, she's like chatting with the other boys, maybe seeing Josh Goodman do like a couple push-ups, trying to show off. She realizes like maybe it's, it was a little premature to jump into a relationship with Gray and that she wants to kind of play the field, you know, now that she's kind of had her, had her introduction to like romance, she realized that oh, she's getting to know the fact that she's maybe more of a play the field kind of girl and not a settle down kind of girl. Okay, and we're not we're not inviting you over. I'm sorry, you're gonna be sent home. I don't want a ghost here. I don't even know who you are. I, I'm really sorry you died though, buddy. Okay. Maybe we'll kind of like end this gathering. Tomorrow we'll invite our boyfriend Gray over and just be like, listen, you know, I'm just not the type of girl that wants to settle down right now. Josh is still over, he didn't leave. Like all the rest of them left once the event left, but Josh is still here. Maybe we should chat with him. You can't go talk to him? Is he not, what's happening with him? Analyze his personality. What does that mean? It's like an alien thing she can do. Oh, oh, she found out he's cheerful and a music lover. That's so cool. No wonder she's so charismatic. Okay. Uh, oh, Raphael just had a breakthrough. Does that mean you're ready for your promotion? <gasps> Raphael is ready for his promotion. It's 1 a.m. Okay, Jade, it is way past your bedtime. I'm glad that you're headed to bed. Oh, Jade has discovered something under her bed again. Okay, 
This is two nights in a row. We're getting the little night light. I don't care. This mint color looks so cute in this room. Poor Jade, afraid of the dark. My little, my little sweet alien princess. I'm gonna have her brush her teeth and then go to bed. Oh, I can't believe she'll be moving out and be a big girl in only a couple episodes. I'm shook. I did see a lot of your guys' suggestions. Some of you wanted her to go to university. I think I might save university for a future gen and have Poppy just go straight to her political career. All right, now everyone is finally asleep for two seconds and now it's Hunter's birthday and we might celebrate Hunter's birthday at the end of the day, but I don't know. If Hunter starts bugging me, I'm just gonna age up Hunter. <laughs> Chorus, what are you calling? He's calling a sibling. All your siblings live in this house. Do we have like additional alien siblings I don't know about? Okay, he's feeling great after calling that sibling. Now he's going off to grade school, which means I need to get all my other sims up so that they go to school. Go to school, kids! Kind of in a pretty good mood. She's feeling pretty confident because her teeth are pearly white. She is feeling a little angry. I think she's ready to kind of get out of her relationship. She feels like she wants to go on more dates. She wants to have some more kisses. She got to get more charismatic, you know? Ooh! Should Poppy invite over classmate Josh? Okay. Poppy wanted to invite over her classmate, but it is not her boyfriend. Oh my gosh. I don't think Poppy's gonna like. Oh, Gray. Gray wants to come over and hang out. Oh no. I mean, what's she gonna say? Like, no, Josh is over. Okay, she's gonna invite him over, but I Oh my gosh, here's Josh. Why is she so tired? I'm so sorry. Don't flirt with him yet. Poor Poppy, just all she wants to do is talk about love. She's like, I either wanna talk about my boyfriend. Oh my gosh, here comes her boyfriend. And coming in while Josh is over and they're chatting. We're gonna make a little group between the two of them. Why don't you sit together over here, okay? And she's, go she's gonna take him to like a nice place away from people. She's not gonna be mean about it. She's a sweetheart, but she also is a heartbreaker and like very tired. Wait, what the heck? Why is he running away? Stop it. It's like he knows. All right, we have to talk about something, okay? What? She's giving him a kiss. Oh, not the move, girl. Not the move right before you break up with him, but it's okay. So they're gonna have this deep conversation. Poppy is breaking up with Gray Spencer. She's like, I'm sorry. I'm just, also he's broken out. So, oh, poor baby. Can you give him like a hug? Be like, I'm sorry. Yeah. Does not want to hug. You know what? I don't blame him. I don't blame him. She's gonna try to apologize. Be like, I'm really sorry that I hurt you. I did. That wasn't my intention. Oh no. She's she's saying kind of mean things. Oh, and he's just like he's like out. He's like bye. Oh no. Okay. Why don't you go to home, Poppy? She's not feeling very good either. That about the end of the relationship. And she's really tired. And she's got darker circles under her eyes. And she's like crying. So there's a lot of emotions going on for Poppy. She's also excited about opening presents tomorrow? What's tomorrow? Oh my gosh, she's excited for Winterfest tomorrow. That's so cute. Bitter over breakup and furious. Oh my god, it's very complicated. <laughs> oh no. She's a heartbreaker, our, our poppy. I, we can't help it. Guy would like to hang out tonight too. Oh my gosh, all the boys be barking up poppy street. Not tonight, guy. I'm really tired, okay? Also, my parents need to age up my baby uh, sibling because this is absolutely ridiculous and the baby is like crying way too much. Go to sleep, kids. You're all very tired. What are you doing in here, Gray? Raphael, you might need to ask Gray to leave. I'm, I feel bad, but Raphael's like, my daughter's sleeping. He might not even know. And Hunter's aged up. Wow, everything's happening at once. Okay, Hunter aged up, is now a toddler and is angelic. That's so I'm very happy we have an angelic little baby. <gasps> Look at little baby. I think we need to give him a little bit of a makeover because I don't think his hair texture matches either of his parents. His dad and his mom have more like wavy hair. I think that's really cute. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, and then we're gonna do oh, a little cape. That's very cute. Some like cute little pants. Yes, some cute minty shoes. And there here is Hunter, our minty boy. And that's it. There's no more family members. No more family members in this house. No, no more. So now I have to adjust the bedrooms because Hunter needs a little room. So I actually am going to take Jade's bed and put Jade's bed in here with Poppy. Ooh, that one's kind of cute and it's white too. So this is kind of matchy. They're gonna be proper bunk beds, actually. There we go. That way we have more room. This is now your bed, Jade. And also, actually, Jade's gonna keep her nightlight. So that's gonna be something that Jade gets to keep. Jade, and you can go sleep in here. 
And then Hunter, oh my gosh, sweet baby Hunter needs his own bed down here as well. Okay, let's put this under here. There they go. It looks a little awkward, but I think it'll work out okay. But I can't wait for tomorrow where Poppy is going to maybe reach a higher charisma level and get her second first kiss. It is 5 a.m. and some of the kids have already woken up. It looks like our precious forest is cleaning his plate like such a good boy. Oh wait, it's Winterfest. I'm gonna have everyone take a vacation day because it is Winterfest. Pull out the tree. They can all decorate. What other things do we have? Pile of presents. We can fill up the presents. The house is all decorated now for Winterfest. They put up the icicles. I love the icicles that you put up. Okay, Poppy, how close are you to finishing your skill? Okay, she's getting really close with charisma to level four. Who's calling? Happy holidays, Raphael. Can I celebrate with you? Oh, Eliza, why? Sure, why don't you come over for the holiday? I don't know why you're not celebrating the holiday with your family, but it's fine. Okay, everyone add presents to the pile. I'm so excited. How cute is this? The whole family's getting together to light the tree. Even Eliza Pancakes can come too. Look at them all. This is so cute. Wait, who's this? It's Hazel. <gasps> Hazel's an elder? Get your butt in here, Hazel. Oh my gosh. Auntie Hazel, thanks for coming for Christmas. I know you don't like kids. Oh, look at them decorating the tree in here. It's so cute. And then I think Poppy's going to invite over a special person. Anyway, we're going to invite over Josh. Here comes Josh coming over. Knocking on the door like, hello? Uh, invite him in, Poppy. I'm all right, Poppy. I just have some things to do. Thank you, Turkey. Oh, he is really sad. I wonder what is going on with him. I'm glad that she invited him to Winterfest and was like helping cheer him up. Maybe she could give him a Winterfest gift. What would a teen girl get a teen boy that she's friends with for Christmas? That's like last minute. Okay, she's gonna give him this plant hanger that she just found on Plopsy to cheer him up. And she's feeling very flirty. Oh, it's perfect. It's perfect. I'm sorry to bother, but I want a donation. No, we are still a teenager. We are not giving donations as a teen. She's gonna go outside and go out with, gosh, I got your number to personally tell you that you suck. Are you gonna cry? No, you are literally a jerk. Who are you? Okay, maybe we'll just give him a rose. You know what? You're feeling flirty. It's a holiday. It makes sense you would give him a rose, I guess. Okay, can you embrace him? Oh, he's feeling very flirty. Immediately felt super flirty with her. Oh, she's giving him like kind of a, a more romantic hug. She's like comforting him it is a holiday what if they accidentally end up under the mistletoe oh my goodness okay kiss under the mistletoe would this be considered a first kiss he's like there's mistletoe it's a holiday oh Oh my gosh, flirting it up with the boys. Apparently that did not constitute like a first kiss. Do not ask him to be your boyfriend. You need to have a first kiss. First kiss, first kiss, first kiss. Go get him, go get him. Who's this? <gasps> Tobias Ryder is coming over. I guess he's a family friend now. Everything's kind of in the past. Is this <gasps> Chelsea Slater? Oh my gosh, Chelsea Impeachishme is trying to come over. I couldn't even say my own fake last name. Stop what you're doing, Josh. We were trying to have a first kiss with you. Gonna go, she's she's a woman on a mission. Okay, here we go. First kiss, boom. Okay, but she's not interested in Josh to be her, like her boyfriend or anything. Oh, they're having quite the kiss. Oh, Poppy, okay. Poppy got her kiss. Let's, oh my gosh, why do we have so many ghosts here? And who is Marley? Send Marley home. Chelsea can stay. She's the only ghost that can stay. But let's call everybody to the grand meal. I want everybody to have our fancy meal for the holiday. Poppy's getting one. It looks like Josh is even getting a serving. Everybody's enjoying the meal. I feel like we need to add more chairs to this table. Okay, they're all having their nice dinner at 4.30. Classic holiday, having a very early dinner. My, my family definitely does that. I hope that we have Father Winter come and give some gifts for the kids. Here we go, we're gonna open the presents. Oh, Mint and Raphael earned quite a bit of money on their day off. What are you getting this year, buddy? He got Charlotte's pig, very cute. Okay, what did you get? Forrest got an enormous trilobite, okay. Mint, what are you getting, Mint? She got starter flowers, very cute. Poppy's last. Who is this man? Flynn and Peachishmay, why are you yelling at my cat? Oh, future cube, okay, great. 
Let's see what everybody else gets. She got coal. Hunter got, oh, a little book. That's cute. Hi, Poppy, it's Guy. Do you want to hang out tonight? <gasps> this is the second time that Guy has asked Poppy to hang out. Did we get our third kiss from Guy? I mean, I feel like the festivities are over. Like they did everything except for the Father Winter thing and I don't even like Father Winter that much. So I guess we'll just go and see what happens. I mean, she's a free agent. Yeah, she just kissed Josh and was there for him, but that was like more for fun. There was mistletoe and it all happened so fast, you know? Brighten his day. Wait, is someone else here? <gasps> Why are these two here? Oh my gosh, Guy, why did you invite Josh and Gray? Oh no! <laughs> oh my gosh, you invited my ex-boyfriend and the guy I just kissed? Are you crazy, Guy? Clearly he doesn't want Poppy to kiss him. Is anyone else here? Definitely not romantic. Guy thought he was doing a thing right now. Being like, oh, there's gonna be a party. Meanwhile, this is gonna be so flippin' awkward. Okay, Elias here too. The whole gang is here. And so is Father Winter. Oh my gosh, maybe you should ask him for presents. Father Winter, can I have a present? She's like, thank you, Father Winter. What did he get her? Hopefully something good. He got her a London choice. I don't know what that is. Is it the household inventory? Oh my gosh, they're being attacked by bats. This is so bad. Poppy, oh my gosh. This is so awkward. Looks like Josh is singing Christmas carols. Why is he singing? And why is Father Wh This is so awkward. Okay, let's go light this bonfire, I guess, and I'll hang out by the bonfire. Come on gang. I guess if we all have to hang out, let's do so by some fire. Tell a funny story. Oh my gosh, they're all liking- Oh! Poppy is a fire dancer now and just hit herself in the face with fire and is now on fire. Wow. Okay. Well, that was short-lived. They're having their nice little teen fire. Apparently, these two are leaving. Probably good for us because I did want to get our third kiss in here, but who's it gonna be? It could be Elia, although it doesn't seem like Elia likes us that much. Versus like, Guy is our best friend and she does kind of find him attractive. She doesn't find him like super attractive or anything. Oh my gosh, Guy is pretending he's Santa. This is so funny. Maybe you should cry about the breakup to them and see what they say. Broke up? I'm sorry to hear that, Poppy. Yeah, we did break up. She's like telling everyone like, yeah, we broke up. Josh is over here doing his homework. Oh, what a good bean. Ray is over here with Clement Frost, aka Santa, having a phone call. Oh my gosh, the party is almost over and we haven't done anything. Oh, okay, they're both wa walking away. Why are they both walking away? We wanted to chat with Elia and now we're gonna go pee in the bush. And the a party's over. Okay, wait, guy is like all alone. Go tell him an engaging story, Poppy. No, don't sleep, don't fall asleep in the bush that you just fertilized. Oh my gosh, girl, don't. Also, he needs to pee. Oh, this is such a nightmare. Okay, she's gonna give him a Christmas present. Wait, no, is he leaving? Okay, he left. Well, ugh. Fine, we're just gonna go home. That was a bust and like kind of awkward. Guy is such a little dense, young man inviting all of the friends. Okay, everybody is having, you know, the kind of chill out from their festivities. Poppy's like gonna go to sleep because she's super tired. I do not blame her. She's in her little alien outfit because that's what she likes to sleep in. Oh, and look, I did such a good job with everybody's winter fest. They all pretty much got everything they wanted except for Father Winter. I feel kind of bad because the kids love seeing Father Winter. And unfortunately, they didn't get to see him because they he visited Poppy instead. Why don't you serenade Mint? This is so romantic. How cute is this? Even even Mojito is like, I love this. All right, I think it's it's time for everyone to go to bed. It's late. Jade has reached her level four of communication because she has been chatting up her brother Forrest. And they just became Mama, good friends. Mama. That's Mama. so Mama. cute. Oop, all the kids are going to school. Okay, Poppy, you gotta go to school now. Mama. Goodbye. Go to school. Ooh, I love your outfit that you chose for today. Very cute. Are you dressing up to get your flirt on? Hopefully. <gasps> Should Poppy invite over classmate Miles? Yes. We don't know a Miles. Who's this? Is this Miles? It's Miles Landgrab. Ooh. He's like kind of unfortunate. 
Honestly, I know you're just like a temporary character, but I really, I really need to like, you know, make him a little bit <laughs> less unfortunate looking, I guess is the best word for it. We could do like this. Oh yeah, that one's very land grab. Gives me very strong land grab energy. Okay, perfect. All right, there's Miles land grab. We may never see him again, or we may see him quite a bit, who knows? All right, Poppy, why don't you vent to Miles? <laughs> Oh yeah, she's venting to him. Oh, they are like not friendly for some reason. Why did you invite him over after school then? This is so odd. Th this feels like an enemies to lovers situation. I'll make them a little group again and then I'll have them like watch TV together. Flatter him maybe? Oh no. Okay, they're really not getting along at all. Maybe let's try to do a little flirt, see what goes down. Hopefully Miles is, is chill with it. Oh, he liked it. Okay, he's vibing it. He's vibing it. Hazel's wondering, we don't want to go over to your house, Auntie Hazel. We're in the middle of something. We're trying to get our third first kiss. Oh my gosh, our parents are home. It's fine. I won't let this stop us. Oh my gosh, did he just reject her flirt? Oh, he did. Ugh. He's such a pain. It was nice seeing you. Miles! Uh, I guess I'm gonna leave this here. Poppy unsuccessful with her third endeavor to get Miles land grab to kiss her because apparently they just don't really get along. I don't know what their deal is. He seems a little preppy though, but maybe maybe we'll uh, keep him around for the future. I'm thinking maybe Dan might be a good next target or even should we ruin our friendship with Guy? I don't know. So much will be going on, but we need to get to our next level of the serial romantic aspiration. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to comment below all of your suggestions for this series. And if you're not already, please hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so that you will be notified every time a new video goes live. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the internet very soon. Bye.